The sun is shining in beautiful Berkshire as I fly solo tonight because Scott is living it up in America. But I could not miss out on this huge match. It's the semi-final of the Berks and Bucks Senior Cup. It's the Yellow Men versus the Chair Boys. And if they're to win tonight, they'll need to be at the races. Ha, horse jokes. Behind this very goal is the race course at Ascot. Back in the day, the club were granted permission to build a pitch west of Coach Park 10. Since then, there's been plenty of upgrades and this is what the ground looks like today. Capacity here is just over 2,000 with some seats in this lovely little stand. Let me show you around the club's home dugout. We have got the white curved metallic structure with our perspex on the side and at the back with plenty of sponsorship by the looks of things. As for the seating arrangements, we have got 10 half cut blue seats with the added extra WWE style chairs on the side. As for the technical area, to be expected with a 3G pitch, it is looking very neat and tidy with some slick markings. Time for our manager cliche of the week. Now, if you got involved last week, the answer was Gordon Strachan. But can you answer this very recent manager quote? Give me all the old men. Ronaldo, Messi, Drogba, Lampard, Terry, Ramos, Boateng, Dani Alves, Nur, Modric and Iniesta. I would win the league, the Champions League and FIFA best coach of the year with them. Don't forget to put your answers in the comment section below. It's just a bit of fun, but if we do get 10 answers, we will give out another prize. This crest is pretty simple. We are next to Ascot. So we have the racing finishing post situated on one half of the crest. And what do we do here? Well, we play football. So we have got a football pitch on the other half. In between that, we have got the club's name. I like the detail and imagery on this crest. It does exactly what it says on the tin. Quick fire facts. The club's record attendance is 1,149, but tonight we are expected to beat that. We reckon there will be over 1,200 people. Quick fire facts. The club appeared in the FA Cup for the first time in 2011 when they hosted Wembley FC. It was also the first ever FA Cup game to be streamed live on Facebook. How did they get on in the first FA Cup game ever to be streamed live on Facebook? Well, they lost 2-1, but who cares? Quick fire facts. Ascot are doing their bit for football. They have over 75 teams playing every weekend, which include five adult teams and eight girls teams. They also have 750 registered players. With numbers like that, I might even get a game. Quick fire facts. Ascot United play their football in the combined counties Premier North Division, which is step five of the footy pyramid. As of today, they currently sit sixth in the league table. Tonight's opponents, who are just having a little walkabout, well, they're eighth in League One, which is six leagues above Ascot United. Oh yeah, and they just came down from the championship. So, all the best, lads. Gareth, big night for Ascot tonight, but what are you expecting from your lads? Yeah, I mean, first of all, what a night for Ascot, like you say, you know, brilliant. You know, it could be our biggest crowd ever, which we're very proud to help with that. You know, we're expected to, to be the better side we, uh, with a professional team. And, uh, and you know, it's a different surface than, uh, than we're used to, so it's a lot slower game on this. It's more of a technical football game, and not just that, you get all those little black bits in your shoes at the end of the game. <laughs> but we haven't changed anything. Sam Grace, my development coaches, and Matt Bloomfield will be taking the team. And we've got a mixture tonight. We've got a few first teamers in there who are on the fringes of the squad, a couple of development boys, and we're, we're looking at one or two trialists as well, which is great for us in this competition to be able to do that. But yeah, we're not taking Ascot lightly, so you know, they're a good side. Fantastic facilities and, and backdrop here, you know, and. Uh, Hopefully we can get the win. And what did you make of Jeff Stelling's impersonation of you with the shirt? He's a friend, first of all, so he's, he's, he's got every right to do it. I'll give him a bit of stick if I can. I'm actually doing soccer Saturday soon and uh, I don't know whether to go on with a proper tie and all, all, all like prim and proper like Jeff, or maybe go the other way and go total rock and roll. Let's see what happens. This is the home kit. I don't know about you, but I'm getting Villarreal vibes from it. It's got a tidy little circular collar as well, and I do love a stitched crest. The yellow men kit is made by Mitre. As for the away, well, it's all white. Get it? All white? Anyway, it's glistening on that pitch tonight.
Jamie Tompkins, first team manager at Ascot United Football Club. Jamie, what a great occasion it is for the club tonight. Brilliant occasion. You know, this is going to be one of the biggest games in the club's history. So, you know, semi-final of uh, the County Cup competition um, with a, a great crowd as well. So, yeah, really looking forward to it. How do you prepare against a League One side? Run as much as possible, hope that they make mistakes and, uh, yeah, see if we can get a goal. Good to test ourselves against that level of opposition. We know we're play they're playing first team players as well tonight and Gareth Ainsworth is here as well. So it's great that they're treating us, the competition seriously and we'll do everything we can to try and, uh, and, and cause an upset. We've got a, a secret weapon tonight as well, which I'm sure the crowd will love in a, a long throw from our uh, centre back Chris Ellis. So, um, you know, if we can nick something, um, then we'll just defend for our lives. And what's your style of play? Our style of play is to encourage players to be good and dominate their 1v1s. Whether that's going forwards or defensively, we want them to be comfortable with both uh, situations and uh, to, to, to keep possession of the ball. I think if, if our best players have, have the ball at their feet, they'll create chances and score goals. And on a personal note, if you could share the dugout with any manager, past or present, who would it be? Uh, it's a really good question. There'll be, there'll be a lot. Um, I work for Brentford Football Club, uh, so uh, Thomas Frank will be one because he's a, he's a brilliant manager, great person as well. But I'm a Man United fan, so it's got to be uh, Alex Ferguson. Welcome to Ref Cribs, starting with the amenities. It's got a sink, toilet, and shower combo. The lads are fully stocked with H2O and juice. Let's meet the occupants. I'm Isaac Blakey, one of the assistant referees for tonight's game. This is Isaac's lunchbox. This is where he keeps all his ref essentials. Who's next? I'm Stephen Ray, one of the assistants for tonight's game. Stephen's got the footballer star wash bag for his kit. Hi, so I'm Charlie Bullock, uh, tonight's match referee. And as for Charlie, he likes to keep his stuff under lock and key. Safety first, man. As we know, the pitch is 3G, so it looks really crisp, it's really flat, and it's probably just had a fresh hoover for tonight's historic game. Unfortunately, it can't go on our ratings board, but we do have our famous test, starting with the bounce. I have no idea if that is good, but I'm sure it meets FA regulations. If anyone does know what the limit is, let us know in the comment section below. And of course, when you're playing on these pitches, you do take home some rubber bits with you. So let's have a little look to see how we're getting on. As rubber bits go, that is not bad. Dan Masters, assistant manager here at Ascot. Just talking through the warm-up, so start off with did some uh, band activation work. Then we come out and we do a, a passing drill into two sets. Lots of touches on the ball, lots of passing, lots of communication. We change in directions, change in movements. Then we go into some more muscle activation. Then we go into possession, stretches afterwards, position specific drills. Yes? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Come on. Yeah, we don't get many of these at this level, so take your chance. Pay respect to the fellas <laughs> on the bench, yeah? We're the ones that have been lucky enough to get the shirt, so <coughs> work. That's the least we own. Yeah. Work, boys. Stick yeah. it on. Yeah. So enjoy it. In the first five minutes, that's a pass, a header, a shot, whatever that is. We Get do, yourself in the game, yeah. match. We yeah. do, yeah. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on.
as Scott is in America, I am going to be doing the three word burger review. I have gone for a cheese burger, two slices of cheese and a big beef patty. Add to that a little can of Banta. This has set me back £5.40. Let's give it a try. Mm, mooey. Zingy. Peng Ting. This is the Ascot United Two Touch Challenge. No stitch ups, no headers. Been an incredible achievement. All right, anything that happens now is an absolute bonus. for this club, right, you play to get win things. And every year we've reached the final. Every year, every year that in our time. And we've got another final to look forward to. It's gonna be against Reading or MK Dons. That's the one. Yeah. Be with Let's, go. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! I love it, you love it, we love non-league.